feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long, but today is gonna be, or today's video is gonna be Trip to the Thrift. Uh, it's gonna be nothing but content, 10 minute video, uh, just me finding amazing stuff at the thrift. Uh, the next video, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the stuff that's sold in this video. Um, you'll see I, I came up on a bunch of anime t-shirts. I paid a dollar each and about three of them we sold for $200 a piece. Uh, so I'm really out here, you know, turning a dollar into 200 easily. Uh, you know, we're out, out here spending seven to make 25 or 30. Uh, you know, we're getting good stuff, we're getting good prices, and we're making a lot of money. Uh, this past week, I've done about $2,500 in sales by itself. Uh, no eBay, a few on Macari, but mainly just Instagram, social media, and through my personal gain. You know, I don't sell on eBay. I do sell on Macari. I will be upfront about that. I do, you know, I do make good money on Macari as well. But 90% uh, of my sales are driven through me, through my social media, through friends, through offer up local sales. Uh, but I do not sell on eBay. So let's hit this thrift store, show you guys some good stuff. Let's get it, guys. A few items today. We have two mass shirts, both dated 2004. We found two brand new unknown sweatpants. If you guys saw the other day, we got a bunch of unknown stuff, but they have two sweatpants. Brand new with the tags. We found a couple North Face pieces. This one, Vintage Polo Sport, North Face Button Down, Champion Miami Hurricanes hoodie. We found this Full Metal Alchemist shirt, AAA tag, Champion Chicago Bears jersey, and then a single stitch Mickey shirt. Start off with this all over print Marilyn Manson shirt. Sadly, it's a size small. Wish it was a bigger size. We have this Marilyn Manson. We found this rip and dip pocket tee. It does have a little stain there, but I think it might be able to come out. And then if you fold the pocket down, then you'll see the cat flipping you off. What else we found? We found this bootleg Balmain Paris shirt. You know, a uh, bootleg designer always sells. Uh, people don't want to pay the real price, so you could sell it for $10. But to be honest, it does have some yellow stains on here, so I think I'm probably gonna leave that. Uh, if it was in better condition, then I would. And then we found one, two, three, four of these hoodies. Now they are brand new with the tags. Um, unknown collab with this other person, Liz B. Croft. So it's kind of cool, it has like prints all over. Uh, pretty unique. So we got four of those, and then they are brand new with the tags. Uh, let me see how much original price was. Um, they don't have the price tag on, but it just has these unknown, so they are brand new. Not bad though. We have this vintage champion reverse weave Florida State crew neck. Florida Marlins jersey. Nike ACG. Little windbreaker. And we found this Dodgers jersey. I'm not really sure. It might be a custom. I've looked up this last name and I have no idea who it is. Uh, I can't find it at all. So if I had to guess, maybe it's a uh, custom. But it is a vintage tag. And for $3, I'm going to get it. It has little stains, but I'd rather take the gamble for $3 than uh, pass it up, you know. Grab this. Uh, just a tie-dye crop top for the market. I feel like, you know, this would be a nice sale. This, I'm not sure if it's authentic, but we have the Balenciaga Paris little sweat shorts and then it does have the Balenciaga little hit right there and then also on the inside it does have tags so I'm not sure if it's real if it's not I'll probably end up keeping it if it is then you know that's the come up of today but here's the inside tag so nice little Balenciaga shorts then we did find two Marlin shirts from 2003 we have this one then we also have this one. And then we found some Hugo Boss uh, swim shorts. Found this vintage 1993 double-sided anim animatics? Animatics? I have no I have no idea. Found this vintage nutmeg Miami Dolphins, nice little embroidery. And then we just found a Levi's denim jacket. It's a nice size though. All right, so today was definitely a successful day. I guess we'll start off with two bear, Burberry polos. We have like this navy, or actually maybe it's a black one, uh, but a little bit faded, slim fit. Then we do have this red one, which I don't know if this one's authentic. I've never seen the red plaid on it, but still kind of cool. For sweaters and jackets, we did find this nice Y3 jacket with a little Y3 branding. 
couple denim jackets. We found this woman's vintage guess, little guess triangle. There's a guess hit right there. We found this woman's polo Ralph Lauren jacket. Forever 21 men's jacket. Couple t-shirts right here. We have this Street Fighter on this TNT tag. I'm not sure the date. It doesn't have a timestamp on it. I'm still gonna pick it up for a dollar. We found this double-sided Black History shirt. And then this is where the money is. All of these are anime shirts. Somebody just donated literally all their anime collection. I'll be honest, I'm not educated on anime. I'm gonna send pictures to friends, but I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, they could be worth a lot of money. They could be worth nothing. I'm not exactly sure, but I know anime has been hitting lately. So this one's on the ODM tag as the samurai. We have this one on the AAA tag. And again, I don't, not educated so i'm not going to pronounce like any of it we have a few of these watch more anime shirts on a triple a tag we have this one on that brand tag crazy back hit we have this on the delta tag odm tag again cowboy b pop This is on an M and O knit tat. We have this on a Marvel tag, Punisher, Johnny Blaze. Then on the back has a little hit, Vigilante. We have this on the Delta tag, Anime Junkie, 2003 Fashion Victim. Two more. We have a triple A, the iHeart anime. And then last but not least, we have this Naruto shirt. Shones Jump Naruto with a Naruto tag. 2002 licensing. So, nice little come up. And then we also found these pair of uh, New Balances. So, definitely a good day. Reversible Nike jacket. Psycho Bunny t-shirt. Pharrell Human Williams Adidas sweatpants and this double side Nike. Okay, we have this vintage, I thought it was Bulldogs at first, but it's on the vintage Delta single stitch prints all over like a Bulldogs. This I'm keeping for myself. Tequila makes the clothes fall off. We found a few different Marlins 2003 champions. Found that one, found this one, and we found this one. Got this for the market, I feel like it would sell pretty fast. 2003 NBA Miami Heat Champions. This gun shirt for myself. Vintage Cuba shirt. And then some shorts for myself also. Shoes. I actually found some Air Maxes, uh, but sadly they're popped and then the bottoms are completely shot. So sadly leaving that. But we did pick up these Air Maxes, pink colorway. We had these uh, Vapor Max fly knits. And then we found these Solomon hiking shoes. And I'll show you the clothes. Clothes we have these vintage Steelers shorts. We have these Levi's 3232 501s. We have these Nike Tech Fleece shorts. We have this vintage Nike crew neck. We have these old school Nike pants. The Nike hit right there and then on the bottom. Found these brand new with tags Dickies. Found this sick long sleeve. Las Vegas, the joint, the flames going down the side. And then we found this uh, Eagles jersey, McNabb. So I just found these brand new with tags. 
Original price, 50 bucks. I'm gonna keep these for myself though, when I go to Colorado. And then we found a bunch of these no-show socks, perfect for me. And I found these white Kirkland tees. Uh, it's hot in the summer, living in South Beach, so you can never go wrong with a white shirt. We have this Jason Taylor Dolphins shirt. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a Tyson wrap tee at first, but it's just an Obama big print. Then we have a I Have a Dream Obama, double-sided.